my first installation on white silk is titled Journey, and it refers to our nomadic life. I and Helmut, we were traveling around the globe with our backpacks and our tent. With the tent we often put next to the sea or next to a lake, next to water. And the silk was bought in Shanghai in 1980, then carried around the globe and traveled several times across the Pacific and across the Atlantic to finally come to Wroclaw. The drawings were made after my own photographs. I have been a photographer since age 13 and taking pictures of myself mostly, but also of other people and of landscapes. So after the photographs taken while we were traveling, I made drawings and with pencil and covered them with acrylic, white acrylic paint. So the technique is white on white white acrylic paint on white silk. Opposite, opposite journey is the installation The Garden of Effie Brist, made in New York, 1982. It's my last installation made from the silk, from the white silk I bought in Shanghai when I was teaching at the University of Nanking. The story of this installation is based on one of my favorite novels, a novel Effie Brist by Theodor Fontane, published at the very end of the 19th century. It's one of the great novels about women's enslavement and women's emancipation. I very much identified when I was a young girl with, with the terrible life of, of this heroine, Effie Brist. Effie meaning um, is a diminutive of the name Eva, my own name. She was not as fortunate as I am. She never had any freedom and she for a little bit of freedom she had, she paid dearly. And she died young, looking at her garden, because that was her little paradise when she was young, when she was dreaming about the future, and when she was swinging. I too like to swing. There were swings just around the corner from, from my apartment in New York, next to the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. And so I took the pictures of the swings and then I made them. I made the drawings of swings on, on silk. In art and literature of the 19th century, the swing was often used as a symbol of women's little freedom. The freedom they were given when they were young girls or when they were already fallen women, prostitutes, or maybe maids, that all serious women, wives, etc., were not really allowed to swing, the swing giving a little bit of space to a life that was really very much limited to the four walls of one's home, to the small garden one was living in, while the swing was swinging somewhere into the sky.
The garden of Ephibris is based on a real garden called biblical garden because it's a little piece of land next to the wall of St. John the Divine. And apparently somebody from the church planted on this little bit of ground all the plants mentioned in the Bible. And though they have those little plaques on, on the plaques to have the names of the, of the plants. And it's a closed little garden with one bench where in the fall of 1982, I spent a lot of time. I was playing chess with myself. I was trying to domesticate the squirrel by feeding it. And I reread the novel by Fontane, Effie Brist. And that was finally the inspiration to do this installation, which had the size of the biblical garden and of my place, of my own room in the building. And of my bedroom. And so for the first time, I put the installation for my friends in my bedroom. It was, it was a little bit squeezed in, but ultimately it was rather nice too. The installation, the Garden of Effie Breasts, ends with the figure of Effie nailed to the wall. She's probably around 30 feels like an old woman. She, has, she had just one short affair in her life, but that was enough to be completely removed from society, from her husband's home, from her child. And now she's in exile in her parents' house and looks at her garden and the swings. She isn't swinging anymore. She's dying and remembering the time of dreams and freedom. This triptych, titled The Couple, is the first version of the theater of love. It's a small version with love scenes treated as little stamps put it simply on silk or even little comic strips or cutouts. So it has a completely different character. But if similar scenes were then drawn on large cotton on, in large size, and then on a different material, they acquire a completely different meaning. <laughs>